Today we're asking the specialists. We have Erica, Jacqueline, and Nicole here who are identical triplets getting ready to hopefully have children. Erica just happens to be married to Jay McGraw, our very own executive producer. They're all eager to find out if even more multiples may be in their future. I'm Nicole. I'm Erica. I'm Jacqueline. And, and we're, we're identical, identical triplets. triplets. Growing up, I've always loved having sisters. How cute, look at how cute, I can't even tell us apart. The bond that triplets have, it's definitely different than regular siblings. We had our own language until we were two. Our parents would be like, what are you guys even saying? We went through every milestone together from our first steps to getting married. It's only natural for us to want to have kids together. 31, 31 years, years later. later. We think we have a pretty good shot of having multiples, or at least one of us, because our family history has a lot of multiples. Our grandma's a twin, and we have a bunch of multiple cousins. And here's our cousins, they're twins. I have more of a chance of having multiples because Jay has multiples on his side. His mom is a twin. As long as I can remember, I've always wanted to have kids. We're all three married, and we're ready to go. Can you imagine if we all had them on the same day? That's her goal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out if the sisters have a better chance of having multiples. Jacqueline, Nicole, and Erica are here with us today. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. I like the outfits, I must say. Gorgeous. We always say, whenever we can, why not? So yeah. it's fun. And I was saying before that I'm lucky that I know the three of you because I can actually tell you all apart, but I'm assuming that everyone out there <laughs> probably can't. Well, join us today. We also have Dr. John Jane. He's from Santa Monica Fertility Specialists. He's going to help Erica and her sister determine their own odds of a set of multiples. Welcome. Good to be here. Good to be here. And another interesting tidbit I just found out is that uh, when Lisa was a medical student, you were her resident. I was. Yeah, he was in All charge of it. All comes around. It really does, and here we are. It's a small world. We were actually in the trenches together, so. Really, in mm -hmm. the trenches. It was very intense training, but that's why we're able to talk about topics like triplets. Well, and, and, and we've talked about this. The three of you are ready to have children, right? Yeah, we definitely are. We're at that age where we're, you know, concerned with how our age in general, and then we're also all three married, so figure, why not start trying? Or should we? Or what are our risks? What are our odds? Do I even want to even try? Because I might have, you know, multiples <laughs> like my mom, so. The question is, are the boys ready? <laughs> are the boys ready? Well, I believe Jay's ready. He's told me he's ready. I think my husband's ready. My husband's definitely ready. He's oh, the we oldest. Hey, Jay, Bill, are you guys back there? Yeah, yeah, we we're back here. So uh, I, I thought we were here to talk about heart disease. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to talk about how it takes two to tango, Jay. Uh -huh. I don't have a heart attack. Yes, it does. <laughs> so are you, are you guys at the point now where, where not only are you interested in whether or not you may have multiples, but are, are you ready to take that next step? Um, I've got a lot of questions about whether or not we're going to have multiples, Travis. <laughs> I think Jay's a little. Oh, I didn't about answer multiple. your real question. I'm sorry. No, no, no yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have kids. I, you know, I'm ready whenever. I think I think he looks like he's ready. Oh, and Bill, you're awfully quiet back there, buddy. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm definitely ready too. But I I will admit, I never ever dreamed it would come to this and happen this way. So it's <laughs> it's fun. It should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Billy has a good point though. Like mm -hmm. when we married our husbands, we didn't uh, necessarily tell them, okay, we're gonna probably try to conceive at the same time or hopefully have our babies at the same time or similar times. Yeah. And nope. try at the same time. And, and so now it's a, a shocker to them, like, whoa, okay, wait a minute, now we're gonna call each other when it's, okay, are you doing it? Like, is it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, I guess that's the way it happens, right? I don't know. Well, it would, it would be really, you know, kind of unusual to, for you all to have, you know, get pregnant on the same day. I mean, maybe in the same month or something like that, but probably not. But I think what's really interesting, besides the fact that you guys triplets and gorgeous triplets Aww. and I think a lot of people at home don't know you know are really interested in how twins and triplets you know come about and you're you're considered identical triplets even though you know because we've known you so long we can tell you apart it's so funny because Jacqueline always comes up to me and says I'm not Erica and I go I know <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> but because identical um, twins or triplets can look different even though basically when you're twins and you're identical you come from the same egg Okay, but you can still have differences in how you look. If you're fraternal or non-identical twins, then you come from, you know, uh, two different eggs and sperm. Right. 
right? Yeah, two and, different eggs, two different embryos. For and fraternal then twins, triplets absolutely. are really, really, really rare. Tell us about triplets specifically. Yeah, you know, they're about uh, uh, 20 times rarer than, than uh, twins, for example, because the woman has to ovulate three eggs, and they mm -hmm. all have to be fertilized, so the, the boys have to do their job as well to come up <laughs> with triplets. You hear that, guys? <laughs> you need some good, good stuff going on. Um, whereas <laughs> twins typically come from two eggs, um, giving rise to, to two babies. Identicals, as you mentioned, Lisa, are caused by um, the egg or embryo splitting right. from one embryo to two or three, and that's even more rare than the fraternal twins or triplets. And how about all those rumors? You guys probably heard them. Does it skip a generation? If, if oh, yeah. it's from the mom's side, you're more likely to have twins. That I hear all these stories. Question. Well, that depends on if it's fraternal or identical, and that's kind of why we you know, jumped into it. Tell them how that yeah, works. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the, our understanding about twins and triplets is that they come about from multiple ovulations, a mother ovulating more than one egg, and that's why most twins and triplets are non-identical or fraternal, and the splitting is much rarer. So it's really, it really follows through the mother's side of the family, a woman ovulating more than one egg. So, so are, you, are you saying yeah. that I'm like totally safe because... Oh, no, no, I'm not at all. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, you, you're They're identical. all over on both sides of her family. Yeah. So Absolutely. wash me and you have twins between. or triplets and she won't have any. Yeah. But they it want seems like the luck of the draw. Right, you no, know? you have it like, running in your family. You're a triplet and you have a, a grandparent that is a twin. Mm -hmm. So you have the genes in your family, so. As well as Jay's side, well, so like, I'm oh, goodness, yeah. Genetically, how does the egg know, okay, I'm genetically, genetically. supposed to split, I'm gonna split, you That's know? A great question. Yeah, or and, is it? Right, a good question. And actually, it doesn't know that because we don't think the identical tripleting or twinning is genetic. It's oh, a yeah, random yeah, event. Okay. Mm -hmm. Having said that, it probably still does have a little bit of genetics in it. Yeah. We'll see. So the, yeah, the we're going to be like science experiment. And I think it's it's you know it's so great because you know we can tell you apart and you look different and everything. But you said when you were babies they couldn't, yeah. and they actually did something really unique to tell we you all a, apart. We have a baby picture that we still to this day look and we're like, okay, was that we me or is that the you? picture over to we see who's the picture who? Because we look wow. so alike. Our we were like a day old. were so much alike when we were born that they. Um, had to have something permanent because they didn't want to mix us up in the bathtub or something. So um, when we were born, I had one tattoo on my butt cheek. I have two. And Erica okay. has two because she was second born and Jacqueline doesn't have any. She any. was the lucky Jay gets one. to see him every day. They're like, <laughs> they're little. No, they're little. They're, they're little, little tiny blue kind of ink dots. And they're really <laughs> like a whole tattoo on <laughs> a baby. Like a, like a dime. Yeah, like a dime. yeah, yeah. it's like a circle. Is there like a time. record for the earliest child tattoo. to get a tattoo? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's hey, it. That's it's hard. The doctor, though, Cut delivered us and he was like, oh my gosh, he didn't. Our yeah. mom didn't know she was having tw triplets. Yeah. Thought she was having yeah. twins. Delivered two. Had the third one. Obviously, unknowing it, our dad was, you know, tear rolling out of it, out of it, um, his mask. And our mom was, said, "I'm a dog and I'm having a litter." So he was like, <laughs> oh. freaking and she, out. And he went, she "What do I do so I don't mix them up?" And he's all he could think of was, you know, ink dots on the biggest part of their bodies. She <laughs> was terrified. Great idea. Though. She was terrified. She didn't have a, enough love. We had an older sister as well, mm -hmm. and she's like, "How am I supposed to love four babies? I can't imagine the woman that just had." Eight. Eight. And, she, she, and eight she wanted babies. a boy and got three girls. It's so neat how close the babies are inside. I think that's how comes oh, yeah. you guys um, are so, you know, you Erica talked about I... the language that you had. Because uh -huh. um, yeah. we'll often see, you know, triplets inside or twins like cuddling. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's, you know, the bond right. starts we way, way before. Have, yeah, and yeah, I think that's where we learned that language. We don't even speak and we can look at each other and have conversations. Very weird. Yeah, growing up, our parents were like, oh, we're at din the dinner table again, and there they go. <laughs> you know, yeah, it was like a conversation with no words, and we had our own language till we were probably two, and then we also had the same dream that we didn't know we had till we were six. Every single night, we had the same scary dream, and we found out when we were 18 that we all had the same dream, which is wow. really yeah. weird. Yeah, random, wow. random that dream, too. I mean, and we're 31, best friends, and still just as close. It's crazy. Yeah. It's so yeah. fun, yeah. and that's why we're wondering, you know, if we can, we can conceive can... at the same time, because we love hanging out with each other. We'd love, like, we our kids to have the same. kind of want to make triplets. <laughs> you know what Tell I mean? Tell the best ways about conception. Um, if you want to conceive at the same time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, you have to ovulate at the same time. That's not easy to do unless your menstrual cycles are all <laughs> yeah, lined up. Yeah. Well, so let's put the eyes. Let's, let's, <laughs> they are. Okay, done. We're done. The menstrual cycles are the same, so <laughs> we're ready. Well, I know you all have more questions. I want to get to them after the break. But just to clarify, Erica, you'd be happy with just one baby. But Jacqueline Nicole, you'd be happy with 
multiples, right? I've always wanted twins, yeah. yeah. I wanted, but I, I think it would be really fun to twins. I just don't want Not them at the same, same time. time. <laughs> right. Preferably. Well, we've got a lot of ground to cover with our specialist still, and if you've ever thought about having kids, none of your questions are off limits. And later, has your vision ever been disrupted by odd-looking specks or spots? Find out what they are and if you have anything to worry about after the break. Is there a specific time of the month that you're supposed to try? How long will it take us to get pregnant? All women that want to have babies have tons of questions. And we do too. We can't wait to ask the doctors.